we are under constant attack. Disease-causing viruses and bacteria are everywhere in our environment. The human body's immune system is working constantly to handle these invaders so that we can survive. You get the flu infection and you have maybe just a hundred cells in your body that actually can recognize the flu and nevertheless they manage to find that infection that enters here in your nose and one cell might be here, the other one there, the other one there and there and nevertheless they all managed to end up in the nose and fight the infection there. This is Carmen Gerlach, a scientist who is fascinated with our immunodefense system. Her sights are set on some of the body's most important warriors. Through uncovering their unique properties, she's hoping we can make better vaccines and medicines in the future. So I'm studying T cells, and then in particular those T cells that can recognize infected cells in your body. The immune system consists of many different cells, but it is specifically the T cells, one sort of white blood cell, that are Carmen's focus. Their job is to recognize infected or cancerous cells and kill them. These T cells are pre-programmed to deal with a given threat. When they discover that the threat is present in the body, they begin to multiply and head for the infected part of the body. So this is what the T cells are. And you can see that it's a bit of a milky solution because there are lots of T cells in there. And uh, the machine can measure them, but it was starting with that sample. One can be misled into thinking that all T cells that fight a certain virus, one sort of bacterium, or other threat are the same. But when you take a closer look at them, as Carmen does, important differences are revealed. This can be how fast they kill or how long they live. Characteristics which are crucial to how well we can protect ourselves from illnesses. Doing research came into Carmen's life when she was 13 years old. At her school, she was given the opportunity to participate in a research competition where students came up with questions which they themselves then answered using self-designed experiments. The first thing we did, for example, is that we asked the question if the, in the fall, the color that the leaves have on the tree, whether that tells you how strong these leaves are still attached to the tree. She participated in this competition four times. Every year, new questions, new experiments, and new answers. That was a lot of fun. And one area for which this is relevant is vaccine development. Carmen's curiosity is far from over, but today T cells have her full attention. But the question is, how can knowing more about them lead to better vaccines? Carmen believes that we can get more effective vaccines if we can make sure that the right kind of warrior is sent out to fight the right kind of intruder. Yeah, so with a vaccine, you normally you want cells that are very, very long-lived because you want to have lifelong protection against that disease, ideally. But sometimes the disease might be so severe that only having the cells with long life will not be enough. So that in addition, you may be in, an, for a certain infection that is so severe, you might need to have a vaccine that also generates a lot of those fast killers. Because now this actually does look. <laughs> and can you go to zero even? But what can scientists do to activate the right T cells? Carmen thinks we might be helped by looking at what kind of molecules the T cells have on their surface. If we find out the molecules specific to one variety, we could use that knowledge to control them and ensure that the vaccine activates the best possible team against the enemy. If we know how cells of a particular function develop, we can 
mimic exactly that with the vaccine. So, for example, we maybe need to vaccinate more often or with more or less of the vaccine so that we can specifically steer the development of that particular group of cells that has that function that we want to have. Disease-causing viruses and bacteria will always be a threat to humans. Even as our immune systems develop to better protect us, our attackers develop as well. But if researchers like Carmen find out more about the immune system, all of its secrets and aces up its sleeve, then hopefully they can better equip us for our future challenges.